Video games are really stressful. From massive multi-million dollar tournaments to being at that last jump of the level you're trying to beat. Yet, one small indie game takes the crown above any other title of one of the most stressful, nerve-testing games ever made. And surprisingly, it's a title you've definitely played before. This is Geometry Dash. If you've been living under a rock for the past 7 years, Geometry Dash is a 2D auto side-scroller developed by Rodtop Games in the early 2010s. Being popular for its simplicity, just having one input method, yet still being a decent challenge. In these levels, your one simple goal is to traverse through all the spikes and obstacles, and especially later levels like Deadlocked and Geometrical Dominator are a difficult challenge to anyone who tries. But to those who stopped there, what you don't know about is the almost hidden community of Geometry Dash players. This is Demon Park by M2COL. The level that was so difficult at the time, it was so far above the current difficulty ratings that a new one had to be implemented in update 1.3. And this is called the Demon Difficulty. And in update 2.1, they had to be split into different types of demon, from Easy Demon being the easiest to Extreme Demon being the hardest difficulty a rated level can achieve. And ever since then, the Geomashes players have nearly fully focused on difficulty. Difficulty. And as a result, this is the Geometry Dash Demon List. From missing benefits in the 150 spot to Slaughterhouse being at the top. These levels are so difficult that everyone gathers as a community to watch the top players attempt and complete these levels. These brutal levels take tens of thousands of attempts and hundreds of hours to complete. And even the best of the best struggle with the top 50 hardest levels. So you can imagine. You'd be pretty nervous when at the end of a level after so many attempts, right? Well, this is Joshua83, a pro Geometry player, and he's currently on a decently beginner extreme called Accu. After getting past the pre drop, the difficult duels, and tough timings, he was at the very end of the level. Yet, you can probably notice something. His heart rate is skyrocketing, and as he nears the end, it's only going further up and just as he is two clicks away, he fails in the second to last click, his heart slowing down at 208 beats per minute. This was a record at the time, being the highest anyone's heart rate had gone when playing Geometry Dash. But how high of a heart rate is too high? Or fatal. To understand this, we first have to figure out what triggers high heart rate in video games. When you get far in a level, for example, a hormone called epinephrine is released in your body. This is commonly known as adrenaline. These are the same two hormones behind your fight or flight response. A response that usually ends in two outcomes, physically fighting the cause of death or getting the f*** out. But when playing a game like Geometry Dash, there's no real reason to have these responses. Also in combination with general pressure because you're working towards a goal and one slip up, especially when playing the top levels, one slight misclick and you're completely reset to the beginning. This causes your heart rate to skyrocket and it's also why your hands would start to shake. So how high can this adrenaline cause your heart to go? How high is too high? Usually what will be referenced as a maximum heart rate is 220 negative your age. So as you get older, the lower your maximum heart rate goes. I believe this to be mostly accurate, but people have gone above their max heart rate. How is that possible? You see, everybody's body is different. Some have higher or lower maximum heart rates than others, and going above your maximum heart rate isn't dangerous as long as it's for an incredibly short period of time. For example, the end of a Geomash Dash level. So this leads up to Wild Point. This is Wild Point, a GFX artist and pro Geomash Dash player. They started their Geomashash career by just posting random completions and clips, yet quickly began proving themselves, beating Deadlocked on the 20th of October 2020, and got 86% on 9 circles a few months later, yet still persisting and beating it on the 21st of May 2021. This is when he picked up his biggest project yet. 
Future Funk. A difficult mid-range hard demon that is over 4 minutes long, quickly getting 53 and 66. No, no. Oh my God. Yet, all of a sudden, on the 7th of June 2021, this happened. This simple fail set a new world record for the highest heart rate achieved in this simple 2D block game at a scary 212 beats per minute. And because of that, he dropped the level. And that looked like the end. A new world record for the highest heart rate in Geomashash had been set, and he moved on, going into easier levels like Jawbreaker and returning to harder projects like Petit 3 which he had previously gotten 58% on. Overall, that seemed to be the end. Yet, all of a sudden, on the 18th of July 2021, 41 days after his 80% fail and after 3,487 attempts, this happened. He had done it, not only finishing his goal of beating his new hardest demon, but had coincidentally set a new world record for the highest heart rate achieved in Geomstash. Wildpoint is now going for Sonic Wave and currently has 60% on the level. No! So beyond Wildpoint's terrifying record of 215 beats per minute, I don't see this being beaten at all, hopefully at least. Nobody has gotten close since. Wildpoint's case was a perfect scenario of an incredibly long level out of his skill range, bad nerve control, and just genes. Although, what is a terrifying truth is what this one user stated in Wildpoint's completion video. The day where someone has a heart attack and dies from a geometry level is coming ever closer.